Hey everybody, Shadow Phoenix here. Welcome back to Planet Coaster and back to Whitaker Lake Park, my uh, park that I've been building in my Challenge Park series. Um, so, what we are going to be doing today is working in year 16. What happened to year 15? Uh, well, year 15, we added a top spin there that you saw at the end of the showcase video there. Um, and that top spin was actually done by Dan Thorpe. Um, it was created, he has these cool. Um, trigger effects that he puts on his top spins that I can't actually recreate but they're really really amazing so I took the um, top spin that he made with the trigger effects and then I took off the scenery and stuff that he had on it but I added my own scenery and we call it Typhoon uh, and it's basically a storm themed like a tropical storm themed uh, top spin and that's the the general idea behind it But year 16 is our big attraction that we're going to be adding So we're going to be expanding out from the park here from where we left off at shipwrecked Which was our boat our swinging boat and we're going to kind of go over here I'm going to kind of make a pirate type area. I'm thinking more of like a, a treasure island sort of themed idea uh, and this is kind of the beginning of it here. Uh, well, I guess technically Shipwrecked was the beginning of it, but we're, we're expanding upon that main idea there. Uh, what I'm doing right now that you're seeing me do is kind of, I'm trying to create this whirlpool effect where the river rapids will kind of go down and kind of spin. You know, we're well, not really spin because we can't actually make them spin, but um, kind of go down in, in this like, into a whirlpool type thing. I, there's really no way I can really explain that more than what you're seeing on the screen. Um, it wasn't an effect I was able to really achieve like I really, really wanted to. Um, unfortunately, I, I was kind of hoping that I could get it to kind of look more like a whirlpool, but by the time you put the rocks and everything else in it, it just it doesn't really look that great, unfortunately. But it was an attempt and an experiment, and even though it didn't turn out great, the ride itself turned out really, really cool. Um, and of course, you know, water rides, the guests love them, They're, they make a lot of money, so that was a big thing that was a big bonus to the park. Um, because when you play in challenge mode, money is important. You have to worry about ticket prices or ride prices, you have to worry about paying your staff, everything like that. Um, it is a major thing in the Challenge Park series, especially in what I'm trying to do, which is create a park, you know, year by year and try to keep things afloat and see how long we can run it uh, or until we can't, you know, we can't build anymore because the frames per second gets too much, which is what happened in this case. So what I did just then was I put the Kraken tentacles down in and it's not going to be, I'm not going to have them actually working. You'll see me here in a little bit, I'll, I'll turn them off. Um, because I test the ride and there I see them working and I was like, oh wait, no, I didn't want that. So I turned that off because that's essentially what they're supposed to be. This is a, this is not a park that has like Disney giant special effects that we would have giant working Kraken tentacle arms. No, instead the idea behind them are they are the tentacles that are there, but they're made out of more of like a fiberglass or maybe a styrofoam or something like that. Um, and they're just basically plastic, I guess you could say, you know. Uh, just these big fake statuesque type things that are in the water just for appearances. That's the general idea behind it. Um, now there's a couple other things that we're going to be doing on this ride and in this area as well here in this video. So it is kind of a long video, but not too bad. Um, and you know, it kind of gives me a little bit more to talk about. Something else I discovered about the River Rapids when I was making this ride right here was that you cannot have a lift heel at the end of the ride going into the station. It doesn't give you enough room to put any more boats. So typically, you can have a small station, but you can put as many boats in there as you want. Uh, I'm not sure what the limit is, but you can have like, you know, four or five boats, whatever, kind of lined up, and they, they all start lining up, you know, to go into the station. If you put a lift hill like I did there going into the station, coming up from it, uh, you can't do that. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. So I guess if you have a drop or something or a lift hill right before the entrance to the um, the station it won't let you do that see and over there on the left hand side you can see the tentacles are actually working and I'm like oh wait I don't want that to work so I was like all right turn those off okay um, and so what I ended up doing I was like ah, this just isn't gonna work we're gonna have to expand the station some 
and we'll get to that in just a second but we're just gonna try to do some uh, we got to do a cave so the idea was the whirlpool kind of goes down you you get into this area and the whirlpool swings you around and spins you and then you go past the kraken tentacles kraken tentacles crack I always heard it pronounced kraken all right um and then from there you go into a cave you come out lift hill station that's pretty much how this whole thing works we'll add some waterfalls and some other tropical effects and we'll kind of give it this interesting pirate theme uh, so the next part here that we're going to be doing is I'm going to take the uh, bathrooms that we already made for this park and we're going to just basically steal them and make a copy of them over here on this side of the park as well. So this gives us some bathrooms over here for our guests. Uh, and then we're also going to add a couple more things in here, which is a some shops. Um, and I kind of had this cool idea. Um, I, I love to dig online through... Uh, pictures of theme parks and stuff like that and find interesting things and I save those pictures and I put them in a, a folder called inspiration and occasionally I will go into this folder and start looking through it and I'll, I'll find something and be like I want to do that and if I can make it fit in the park I definitely will so when I run out of ideas if I, I just can't seem to create anything I have a whole folder that's just nothing but just inspiration um, those you guys out there who are having trouble trying to figure out what you want to build in your parks this is something i actually suggest too uh another thing is go to um like google and do the street views there are a lot of parks online that have street view and that is something that a lot of us uh, better builders and stuff out there we we like to suggest to you know new players and stuff as well um street view is definitely handy you can kind of get an idea of scale and other things now this park is probably not the scale whatsoever I wasn't really worried about scale when I was building this one but there I am yawning again it can't be a shadow Phoenix video without me yawning in it um, so the um, scale is something I get into much later on when I'm building crystal gardens and kind of start worrying more about being as realistic as possible uh, but this park, I was trying to be somewhat realistic, and but still kind of build stuff. So, but I, I just wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't aware of scale and things like. I thought our paths and stuff were fine, but apparently the 33 meter paths are just um, too big, or not 33 meter, but uh, 33 feet, I guess is what, because I use feet. Uh, so yeah, apparently that's just too wide according to some people and they instead they say use smaller ones I don't know. I still like the 33, but uh, So yeah, I decided to call this the boat house And it's just these little string of restaurants and shops and stuff here that you can go in and get uh, well You know not food styles basically not restaurants, but food styles and we'll fix around the back of it here as well to kind of shape out the rest of the building And I think I eventually put an ATM in there in the middle as well to kind of fill the space up so there we go, let's uh, get that done in there like that. Okay, now, um, yeah, so I also have plans to maybe over there on the lake overlooking the Viking ship, I will try to plan and do an actual restaurant instead. Um, the restaurant will be like, I guess a little bit maybe like Bubba Shrimp, uh, Bubba Gump Shrimp or something like that that you see at some of the Cedar Fair parks, things like that. But basically, it'll be a, a seafood-themed restaurant, and it'll be right on the, the pond there where we're looking at. And we're going to use some of these cool, like, pirate effects here and, and boating things to try to get a, a nice theme going over here for this. All right, and, yeah, is this... Okay, so for the roof and the actual station for our River Rapids, I tried to be a little different with this. Um, I was trying to mix a couple of themes together and kind of create something... Um, I don't know what you would call it other than ramshackle. <laughs> so it, the idea is that if you were shipwrecked on an island and you were building a station or a hut or something out of things you could find, this would be something that was built out of things that were laying on, you know, from the shipwreck itself. So tin, I don't know where tin would come from a shipwreck, but you know, we'll, we'll say metal nonetheless. Um, so kind of reinforced and then some thatch and some other things and just kind of yeah, I was just going for this, I don't know, It was. it's kind of Polynesian, I guess, in a way, but it's also kind of piratey, it's also kind of Western, I don't know, it's, I just call it Ramshackle, that's the theme, it's the Ramshackle theme. Um, 
and I just kind of started putting some pieces together, and I really liked how it came out. It, uh, it It's an interesting looking station. I really, really like it, and I decided to keep it from that. Hopefully you guys enjoy it too. So um, at the end of this video, I am going to go in and actually do some like uh, showcase shots of the actual ride and different things of it so that you guys can see this entire little area and how it looks currently. Um, so now we just got to put some foliage and other things down. Now when I built this, this was back in September I think when I was building this one here, um, like early September I believe, I didn't actually have the adventure pack yet. Obviously we didn't get the adventure pack until uh, was it Christmas? We got, I think it was Christmas that we, or New Year, something like that. We got the adventure pack right around Christmas, I think it was, which is odd to get adventure stuff for Christmas, but still. Um, a lot of that stuff, like especially the foliage and stuff, would have been really handy to have. And I did go back into the park the other day and kind of finish up some things that weren't left unfinished when I put the park up for download. So I went back and changed some things up, and we do have some adventure stuff in there now, uh, specifically foliage and some other stuff in there too. I wish I had the spooky pack when I was doing the haunted house because then we could have done the haunted house a lot better. But we didn't have that and the haunted house is like losing me money. Um, <laughs> when I built the haunted house, I thought it was going to be this amazing ride. Unfortunately, it just it didn't turn out that way. The guests don't want to ride it. It's made from a roller coaster and the roller coaster isn't exciting and we couldn't get the prestige up enough. It's in the back of the park. There's a lot of reasons, but they just they do not want to ride it and it it's horrible and it cost me a lot of money and it was a wasted year of building but it does look good and that's the most important thing uh, so I kind of took the logs and kind of put them underneath of the station here and then I put these wooden beams down through here again just kind of continuing with this like ramshackle kind of look here we'll put a bit more foliage around and some other stuff and around the whirlpool area I eventually will go in there and I will put some rocks we'll add some waterfalls and some other things like that uh, right now I'm just kinda taking these small thatch pieces and kinda putting them down here at an angle and then we're gonna move them up to kind of uh, match the roof there and that is pretty much gonna be all she wrote for this video so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little new area here that I've started in the park. Uh, I think it's going to be a great area. And I hope you guys would agree. So again, it's Treasure Island. Um, one more thing before we head out of here. I'm just adding some fencing over here so people don't fall off onto the ride going over this little bridge here. Uh, it, it needs a lot of fencing and I'm going to end the video before everything is actually done. But before I head out, uh, the ride doesn't actually have any sort of um, name and I don't really know what to call it so if you guys have any names for like a pirate themed river rapids ride uh, put them in the comments below I would love to hear them um, hopefully you know maybe one of you guys will give me an idea and I will use that for the name of the ride but I am out of here so I will see you in the next video guys I can't wait for that thanks so much for tuning in I'm out of here
Hey everyone, if you'd like to help support me and my channel, I have a Patreon page where you can do just that. You can pledge anything from a dollar or more. Anyone who pledges $15 or more gets a unique, specially designed roller coaster and planet coaster made just for them. My little way of saying thanks. You can also just send donations as well if you don't want to join Patreon. And you can find those links in the video description below. Every tiny red set I make from these means the world to me and is extremely helpful. If you're interested in my PC setup that I work with and play on that you see here, every piece of the system is described below with links to Amazon if you want to purchase them or anything else. Thanks for tuning in to my videos and my channel. If you aren't already a subscriber, click that on the screen below. And you can also check out a few of my other videos on the screen here as well. You can keep up to date on what's going on in my own little world via Twitter or watch me stream live on Twitch as well. Links are in the video description below. So wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night.